Well, they do say that all good things must come to an end. Footballers at whatever level are not immune to age, and they all, at some stage, have to bid farewell to the sport that they loved. This is not a game where results matter. It is simply a final curtain call. More of a celebration of a career. A career of one who can proudly say he has enriched the beautiful game. A final whistle which is indeed final. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy does it add to the occasion. Players here watched by their family and friends, some celebrity faces amongst the crowd as well. Watching just what we are watching. Well, I played in a few of these, Peter. A good few, actually, including my own. And whatever the circumstances, whether it be a natural retirement or premature, there's always a, a mixture of happy and sad about the occasion. And this will be no different. Recognition for a, a good, solid career and simply the perfect platform to, to say thank you and goodbye. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Miralem Pjanic. He plays in that deep midfield position, Peter, which allows him to take his time to, to pick out a pass to the forward line. He also delivers... the way oh that's a hit and that's caused a worry or two Henri certainly could have and should have made more of that out on the left now and that's not going to reach Deco Baresi Baresi plays it forward he tries a shot goal Fiorentina the breakthrough strike and that really is so so impressive that's always a great sight, you know, on the football pitch. Nimble footage, so great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. Fiorentina get themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can... Shapes to shoot! It's in! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. So that's two now without reply. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. And that'll be the final action of the first half. If you review the first half. Look, Peter, this isn't good. Their body language is not encouraging, and the manager must have a, a major verbal impact, or else. Probably into the second 45 minutes. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, 
being antsy, leveling the score is easier said than done. But that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. It's come loose. Almost an hour gone. Quattrone. He's found his man. Chance! There was to be only one outcome. Yeah, and he knew all along what he wanted to do, and it's a really great instinctive finish. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Fiorentina take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Baresi hoists it forward. Ribery goes up and over. Schuller. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Nedved. And it's Nedved. Deco. This game seems as if it's going to go beyond a rescue point, uh, so they need a goal and fast just to raise spirits and at least give their fans something to cheer. Lanzini. Looking for a decent ball in. One way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. So that's it. It is all over. Now the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. They were outclassed in every possible way. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Look, Peter, a strength in any team has to be at the heart of your defence. And I'm afraid they were found wanting in that department. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.